Sox that will be at the future meetings. Uh, so now tonight, for the start of the show, I want to introduce uh, one of the original clean modelers of the original Mustang. Um, it's my pleasure and honor that I met last year um, this gentleman at the SAC show um, that was just happened this past weekend, but it was last year in the summer, and uh, he came up to me and we started talking um, just about Mustang and told me his role, and uh, after I talked to him a little bit, we found out and made him a Mustang hero, which he absolutely deserves, and uh, it evolved into tonight. So he has created a movie, and we are doing a private screening just for our MOXA members tonight, so I hope you guys all enjoy it, and welcome our Mustang hero, Giuliano Zaccato. Well, it was last year when I met Mike in the parking lot of the World Headquarters, and he invited me to the Mustang Hero Banquet, and that changed a lot of things for me. And when I learned the, the passion for the Mustang, uh, I didn't realize how much passion it is for this machine. And many people ask me, what was it like to model the Mustang? So we had 500 people when we signed autograph for about two hours. I uh, didn't have much time to explain, but that gave me the idea of putting my memories in a video format. Uh, so I started first to do some sketching. I was talking to Greg Arceria, another modeler that worked on many of the Mustangs. And, um, trying to get some ideas how to do this. So, um, I did some research, a lot of research, and I felt that I should do it in three parts. One, the evolution of car design from the Model T to the Mustang. And then the center part to be a graphic of the studio that we designed the Mustang the people and the tools. The third part of the documentary, I didn't plan on it, but uh, after I saw the enthusiasm of the Mustang, I said I must include the interviews of the Mustang lovers, what this machine means for them in their life. And I was fortunate to have Tom Yeager, which was a, um, he, is, well, he was a driver for Shelby with the, the GT350, and he did the Corvette in 66. And then Gail Alderman in Tip City, some of the people were there. And then Jack Roush. So, I'm trying to put in evidence the importance of the clay modeler in car design. And it's very much alive today. Even the uh, Oakland, the Macomb County Community Center started a clay modeling school just recently. And they have a waiting list for people that want to learn clay modeling. So what is a clay modeler? A clay modeler is part of the design process. He is part of the designer and they work together um, like a good marriage and I think the Mustang was a good marriage. I, I look at the car sculpting, a good design, I see it as a sculpture. I see it as a sculpture in motion. I see it as a sculpture that I can enter and become part of it and then to discover another art form, engineering. So I can say, and it's been said, that a good design in car is the blending of art and science. So here goes my movie. Thank you.